So now you're at the point where you're ready to finalize your character and maybe even share it out into the world. So the first thing you'll want to do is you're going to want to finalize the character. And you've been saving hopefully pretty frequently, but that is not the same as finalizing. Finalizing your character actually makes them enabled to play in the versus mode and also lets you share them online. So some of the final touches to make before you do that is going over here to portrait and selecting a file for the portrait. I've already created one based on the default sprite and it's 64 pixels by 64 pixels. If it's not that, it'll kind of get squished and resized down to that. I also prefer having a transparent background so you can see what's behind. So that looks pretty good. Uh, so I'll click accept. Uh, one more thing to note as well is um, when you finalize your character, it'll create a stock icon based on a sprite layer named head or a, a bone named head. So if you go in here and you have something called head, it's going to use this as your stock icon. In this case, that works perfectly. So I'm going to click finalize. And usually after 10 to 30 seconds or so, it'll finished and it'll be finished and it'll be ready to go. So the next thing to do will be to go to versus mode locally and make sure your character plays as expected. So let's go back here, go to versus mode, and we're going to pick this newly created character that we've made to test him out. And I'll just add a CPU and I'll say just granite for the sake of ease. Okay, so as we can see the stock icon down there works and my character is working the way I expect including the crazy explosion we created earlier, the, the upward punch, the sideways kick seems to be working, so that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I think he's pretty much ready to go. Uh, I think we can release him to the world now. So once I've decided that, I will return to the editor and make further changes to share him on Steam Workshop. One more thing actually before I do that is once you share characters on Steam Workshop you might go in and click manage and that's going to allow you to enable or disable characters on your screen and that'll help clean it up if, depending on if you want to have them available to you or not at the given period of time. If you'd like to add a new character from Steam Workshop all you have to do is visit the Steam workshop and specifically the community under smack studio find an item or a character you'd like to subscribe to and click subscribe and the next time that you launch your game you'll find that your character has been added to your character selection screen so we're not going to worry about that right now we're actually going to focus on sharing our character so let's go back to the editor and let's open up our fighting robot character and because our character is already finalized and good to go we're going to select upload to steam it's going to do a readiness check and, oh, look at this. It looks like not all the animations are enabled. Some ha don't have hurt boxes and some don't even have visuals. So, oh, see, victory, walk, and victory. So it looks like the walk animation and the victory uh, animation are our problem children. So I'm going to check those out really fast. So if I drop down here, oh, it looks like victory was not enabled. So I'm going to enable it and there's nothing there. So... I'm just going to kind of lazily copy what was from the idle animation here, and I'm going to paste that in victory, and I'll clean this up a little bit. All right, now we have a visual for victory, and we have, and we have everything that we need. It's enabled. The other thing they mentioned was the walking animation, and lo and behold, check it out. My character is invincible while he's walking, and we don't necessarily want that. So I'm again going to go to idle here. I'm going to copy this keyframe. That's a, that's a hurt box. And I'm going to paste the hurt box. Now he is not invincible. So this is a, a, a kosher character now. I'm going to now finalize again. And we'll try uploading and see how our readiness check goes this time. All right, now that that's finished, let's try that readiness check again. Check it out. All animations are enabled since we enabled victory. They all have hurt boxes since we added it to the walk animation. And they all have visuals. Looks like all the hitbox strengths are reasonable as well. So that's a good sign. Once it's past these readiness checks, I'm going to select Next. And it looks like I have a few characters on the workshop already that I've uploaded that I can select to update, or I can create a brand new one. And in this case, you'll most likely be creating a new one. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to call him Fighting Robot. And if you'd like, you can give a little description for the character that you've created. So in this case, I might say... And then I might 
talk about some of his moves, like his neutral special. Let's call it Charge Shot. And if you'd like, you can fill out all these other examples of moves if you'd like. You can add anything that makes your character special, and you can add credit. So in this case, I might do something like... All right, these credits look pretty good, and maybe I'll add more descriptions later after I publish it. So I'll click Next Images, and here you're going to want to add a preview image that's specifically 636 pixels by 358 pixels, and so we'll do that now. So to add it, I'll just click this plus button. I will find the preview image that I have made and click open and check it out. It looks like it's working. I recommend PNG format and you want to follow this pretty much exactly or something smaller. And you definitely don't want to add an image that is larger than one megabyte. All right, so let's review the terms here. It looks like my character does not contain any nudity or lewd content. A lot of this is the requirements of Steam, by the way. So just don't make your character inappropriate or unnecessarily a problem for us because otherwise, your Steam account could be at risk. If you would like to review the EULA, you can do that as well. In this case, we'll just click Upload. And we're going to name uh, this Initial Upload, because that's what this is. And without further ado, let's upload and see what happens. Okay, it looks like it's successfully uploaded. Let's check it out and see if we can find it on the workshop. All right, so once you appear on this screen, what you're going to want to do is go to your workshop files. I'm going to do that by clicking here and check it out. It looks like fighting robots appearing on the list, so let's check it out. All right, here's our character, including the image that we uploaded. Here we have one change note, it looks like. Uh, initial upload, that's what we typed in. And we have our description. And all I have to do is click subscribe. And that character has now been added to my roster and anyone else that would like to. Let's say we want to go in and update this entry. You can either select edit title and description from here and make those changes if you'd like. Let's use this other entry of Swole Doge as an example of how you can add additional media, screenshots, auto-playing videos, etc. and kind of give your entry some more some more flair and some zest. Uh, you can go down here to add slash edit images and videos, and from here, you can attach a YouTube video by posting a URL here. You can upload images. You preferably want 16 by 9 images if possible, and then you can also remove them as well if you'd like. And when you hit save and continue, you go back to your entry, and they will be on your item here. If you want to update the actual character files, we're going to go back to our editor here. We're going to click, we're going to make some changes. Let's say... We do an adjustment to this hurt box for some reason. And then we you need to finalize again. And then we'll upload a Steam Workshop again, run the readiness scan, go through all the options here. This time we can select the fighting robot option and hit select. It's going to pull in that information and we're going to just update this and change it to whatever we'd like. Make sure the image is still there, which it is. You can also delete this and replace it if you'd like. Review the terms, and then of course, update your character. In this case, you won't be doing that because the changes I made weren't important or significant, but that is how you can update your character once it is there. So hopefully you make all kinds of characters and share them with the world. I can't wait to see what you make.